Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hey there, interwebs. I'm Adam. That's Corwin. This is Handbasket Gaming, and we are continuing to play Half-Life 2. And I got my boys. Yes, father. Yeah, dad. Yo, guys, we gonna go hit the club. What, like a big piece of wood? Yeah, we is. What are we going to hit it with, if not with. another club? Well, I got these hormones out of your mom's dead body, and I'm gonna be throwing them at people. I don't Please want you don't to talk eat about our mother's dead body, father. Mm. I'm aggressively British. <laughs> uh -oh. Um, there's a problem, father. Get the. F don't. Oh! Who's in my way? I can have more sons. I gave him a voice. Get him. Father, why should we help you? I'm on fire, father. <laughs> why was I standing in the fire? Please save us from the zombies. Nope. Don't just stand back and be a douche. You douche. You my douched. brothers are dead. Where did my brothers go, Papa? How do I get out of here? I don't know, but you're a douche. I mean, he's not wrong. I think you, uh, you break the supports on that thingy and make it into uh, a ramp. Yep. You douche. Oh, no. Now you feel the fire, Father. <laughs> Once I reclaim other brothers, we will rise up and destroy you. Which one is saying that? The British one. I didn't say anything. That was clearly the other guy. <laughs> it's high noon. I jumped away to avoid you. <laughs> you scary Smart fuck. Kid. <laughs> Smart kid. <laughs> oh my. Why are you pointing that gun at me, father? <laughs> Is that why you're using the club? <laughs> Is the club for me? It's the club for all. Got it. You killed Roger. I saw it happen. <laughs> You said he was sleeping, but no. Ah! Had enough of that of that one. That wasn't me, Father. Father, what are you doing? <laughs> How are they all British? <laughs> that was just—it was the one in the back that was talking the whole time. You just didn't realize it. You killed the quiet ones. Whee! What? Father Who is doing that. You it's up above. Skin Weasel. Skin Weasel, by the way, is the name of my punk rock band. Hmm. Punk rock band Skin Weasel. Yep. Folk punk fusion band. Uh, they're terrible. They're not very good. <laughs> I feel like this is some D Day shit going on right here. <laughs> Normandy! Normandy! Oh. This is not at all D Day. Well, actually, with the bunkers and stuff, I can't. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like gonna... I'm climbing up the hill where they've got it entrenched. Yeah, yeah, okay, I can, yeah, I can see that. And they're Nazis. Well, space Nazis. Space Nazis. Spotsies. Spotsies. Yeah. Spotsies. Yep. That's a funny ass name. <laughs> ass name. Ass name. <laughs> uh, games are definitely different nowadays. Like, you remember, like the really, we don't even need floppy disks anymore. I miss floppy disks. Yeah, that's. I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, remember all the cartoons where like uh, like the world would end if the certain floppy disk got put in a certain computer? No, you know I'm talking about there's so I many different plot lines. Gargoyles had a plot line where that was. Oh fun. yeah, yeah. I never, um, I didn't watch Gargoyles all that religiously. I mean, all right, but I no, I just didn't. I'm, I'm just not familiar with the show all that much. I loved Gargoyles. Give me as a three kid. other examples favorites. of uh, um, <laughs> storylines that focused about uh, the Ducktales had a storyline really? once in one of their episodes. I mean, I didn't watch Ducktales. How? Why? Because it wasn't as good as Gargoyles. How dare you! In fact, I would say that it is categorically worse than Gargoyles. Gargoyles is a brilliant show for brilliant. I... If you keep shooting them. <laughs> Yeah, this might be... it might be time for that. But yeah, I hate you, and you're wrong. Uh, it, comments... yeah, you know what to do. <laughs> but 
but yeah, that... Fucking die! I can't believe that you like gargoyles more than duck tails. A lot. Like, a, by a lot. Like, I just straight like, don't even like... What is, the wrong, what is wrong with you? I like. Have you seen the trailer for the new DuckTales show? It looks oh, amazing. I bet it's as amazing as Void David Dancer. Tennant is, voiding, is voicing uh, Uncle Scrooge. All right, so they got money. Yeah, Uncle Scrooge has money. He's got a money yeah, bin. He jumps into a... He should be dead. That is a dangerous situation, jumping into those bins. Yeah, that's how badass he is. <laughs> that's how badass he Can you is. jump into a pool full of gold coins? And fucking like live? No, if I was no, you animated, can't. I think I could. No, you are pretty animated. I think yeah. You're so not, maybe you're I not could. dull. Maybe I could do it right now. Oh I, my god! I, I doubt it. I doubt you can even beat these guys. When's the last time you saved? <laughs> oh good, Saving there's a health machine the, up there. The weak. And by up, I mean in. Man, oh, man. cowboy. That. Wish I knew how to quit you, health machine. <laughs> Wish I knew, but I'm too addicted to damage. Might as well face it, you're addicted to damage. I like how the rockets look like carrots. Yep. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry, I don't know how to handle that fucker. That damn manatee. It's not it's it's a louse. <laughs> did we ever, have we yes, ever we did. a we verdict? Have. No, actually nobody nobody mentioned. They uh I think everyone said that I was right. That's I uh, don't think that <laughs> happened at all. Literally everyone in the world, the entire internet agreed with me. Shot down one of my rockets, so I'm fucked. It takes three rockets to kill that thing. Uh, I only hit him. Well no, two. there was one more on the uh table. No, I, I took that one on the table. You did? Yeah. You sure? Yep. Shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> See, I can admit when I'm wrong. Like when you're wrong about DuckTales. You should be able to admit that. You. Uh, that was awesome. Definitely just killed the antlion and not the guy who was shooting you. Running gun, man. That you're not, fucked. That is not. Oh, hey, rockets. There we there go. There we are. Okay. We're back on track. Oh, my God. That. Oh, my God. That reminds me. Did What's I ever that? tell you about uh, the drag race that uh, that I was a part of? No, but I want to know. Okay, so uh, back in high school and partly into college, I used to uh, like with like relatively frequently. I went to. Wow, you suck. He's this um, is like the best pilot I've ever seen in one of these. Yeah. Um. I used to go to Rocky Horror Picture Show a lot, uh, where they, you know, they do it in theaters and. Uh, I'm dead. You're dead. That sucks. Like I, there got me. Yep. Sorry, everybody. But they have like prescribed callbacks and stuff, and like it's a very uh, audience participation sort of thing. And it's yeah. like, it's super fun. Like I'm, I'm explaining for them. I know oh, sorry. you know. Um, so like if you guys have never done it and you know if you're old enough or your parents say uh, say it's cool uh, You should check out a live show near you because I'm certain there are because they're all over the place but the one year Because uh, I was actually in a cast for a while there uh, But the one year we went down to the show down in Columbus, which I was not a part of the cast of but we went down there and they had different uh what they what they call it when it's your first time there they uh, they call it your you are a Rocky Horror Virgin yeah and they put you through an initiation to uh, to de-virginize you in uh, in the show and so there's a pre-show thing where you uh, you know there's it, it runs the gambit of stuff that uh, stuff that is done but the one that I happened to go to and since it was my first time at that one even though it wasn't my first time ever. Uh, I went through the initiation and it was a drag race where, you know, they had a bin of clothes, uh, women's clothes, and you, you know, put on your best, put on your best outfit and then uh, race around the, uh, around the auditorium, around the theater. And it was, the, the funny thing about it was that I tied with, because, and it was, it was bullshit too that it was a tie <laughs> because I was wearing heels and this large man was wearing flats and it's just like no if you're doing if you're doing a proper drag race you wear heels because that requires skill damn it uh, 
But, you know, we did that, and, like, it was, like, six or seven other people, and we all raced around, and me and this, this large dude uh, won, and... You know, they only had one prize, so they're just like, okay, we gotta, we gotta do a tiebreaker. Um, and it's one of those things where I used to have this gift, and I'm not sure if I do still have it because I haven't performed live in a while well, outside of like the live that. streams. Uh, where like you put me in front of an audience, and I will be blank. Like I've got nothing in my head. I've got nothing going. And then, like, right at the last minute, I'll come up with something, and it'll be gold. So, <laughs> like, and they're they're just like, okay, we're gonna we're just gonna ask you guys a question, and you'll answer it, and the crowd will decide by you know round of applause who uh, who wins. And I, uh, they're just like, you know, why why should you win? Like, why do you deserve to win? And this guy, like, he was. Like, he was not attractive. Like, I'm, I am secure enough in my masculinity. Uh, well, obviously, since I'm dressing in drag and running around. Um, <laughs> I, I'm secure enough in my masculinity to accept when some when another dude is attractive. Like, I can identify that. This dude was not attractive. And he's up there, and they're just like, why should we pick you? And he's just like, because I go all the way on the first date. And he literally sounded like that. And it was so cringy, and it just hurt. And... That, but that entire time, I had nothing. I'm just like, what the fuck am I going to say? I really want to win because we were there with... Uh, I'm not sure if I was dating her yet. I was either there with my girlfriend at the time <gasps> or with someone who I was looking to date. What? Okay. Sorry, I hit a... It said loading, and it was just a load screen. Oh, you thought but you had I the quick load. I thought I quick load Oh, okay. That is that is scary. And I was like, that was hard to get here, kind of. Yeah. But I was there with this girl, and I'm just like, I want to win. I want to impress this girl. I get it. You know, Absolutely. that's it, yeah, it's important to me. So I've got nothing, 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 nothing. And, like, he, he finishes answering, and the mic is here, and they're swinging the mic over to me. Like, the guy's holding the mic, and it's just going, doo, doo, doo. I'm just like, no. <laughs> and then like at the Adam. absolute last minute, it pops into my head, and I'm just like, I don't put on a weird voice. I don't do anything. I'm just like, I swallow. And the uh, crowd went wild. <laughs> and it was just, it was just so, like, I don't know where, I don't know where that came from or where that power went. Well, but the power absolute, went down your throat. Absolute last minute clutch moves like that. I feel like I've lost that ability. But, yeah. I've got a ton of Rocky Horror stories. I should tell more of those stories. Yeah, Maybe dude, I'll tell some more on the uh, on the next episode. All right. What do you think about that? If that's when you want to do it, we'll do it in the next episode. Okay. And well, then this episode, we're going to ask you guys, uh, what do you think our best quality is? No, what do you think we think is our best quality? Yeah, what do you guys think that we think is our best quality <laughs> that you're thinking about? Answer down below. End of the week, we'll record the right answers and give shout-outs to anybody who gets it right. Uh, also, feel free to suggest games that you want to see us play. Um, yeah. See you next time. Bye. Goodbye.